Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, uh, Global and Boy Promotions, you know, they're doing big things this year. I really gotta give them credit, you know. A lot of, the, I'm not a big fan of how they do a lot of things, and I know they just lost a lawsuit with Al Heyman, which I will talk about, because people have been asking me to talk about this damn lawsuit thing with Al Heyman. So I'm gonna talk about it very soon, but as far as what they got going on as a promotional outfit, you know, they... Well, really, I, b I believe, you know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it was Top Rank or them first, but I know they were one of the first promotional companies to, like, start streaming their own fights. They seem like they, you know, they have a plan for their prospects, you know, and I, I can't say that for every promotional company in boxing. Now, they signed a huge deal with ESPN to televise Golden Boy Promotions fights exclusively on ESPN, so you're going to see a lot of these Golden Boy prospects on ESPN, hopefully at some point in time. My boy Nico Babyface Valdez from South Florida, shout out to him. Um, hopefully, he gets a chance to be on ESPN. And he talked about in our interview about doing a card here in South Florida when it's home. Maybe, maybe that happened. Maybe this makes that happen. Hopefully, shout out to Nico Valdez. But the reason I'm making this video is because they announced their first card, the headlining fight, who's fighting on the undercard. And you know, I gotta say, um, solid, solid card. You know, I gotta top to bottom. Not astonishingly, astonishingly big names, but respectable fighters from top to bottom so um, in the main event of that card you're gonna have uh, Golden Boy prospect um, the Irish lad the Irish amateur standout in middleweight contender Jason Quigley he's 12 and 10 knockouts he actually funny enough one of my I'm not gonna say because I never met him in person but probably someone I'm, I, I, I respect him a lot and I'm really cool with him Mark Christopher Atkins from Texas shout out to Mark Christopher Atkins uh, he fought uh, Jason Quigley um, I believe when Jason Quigley was about maybe like 6-0 and and a 4-rounder, 6-rounder or something like that. And he gave him some good competitive rounds. Um, Quigley, did not, Quigley didn't stop him. He was one of the only two guys Quigley hasn't stopped. So I think that says a lot about my boy Mark Christopher Atkins. But this is a, a step-up fight for Jason Quigley. You know, he's going up there and he's going to fight uh, Glenn Tapia. A tough, durable, uh, middleweight. You know, I think his last fight, I'm pretty sure, was against David Lemieux on the undercard of Canelo versus... Uh, Khan and he got stopped or not yeah he got stopped against David Lemieux David Lemieux looked really explosive in that fight so this will be a 10 rounder for the NABF middleweight title I think that's a good uh, card a uh, good main event for the card you know for, for a card of that level then you have uh, on the undercard as well you have Randy Caballero solid fighter he'll be taking on Victor Pro in a 10 rounder as he tries to um you know, become a two division world champion. You're Randy Caballero, a talented fighter. And then outside of Randy Caballero, you have uh, guys like, you know, Mauricio Herrera. Mauricio Herrera will be on the card as well. So I think this is a good, you know, start for Golden Boy uh, promotions in the ESPN to launch their series of fights. Uh, hopefully, you know, it continue. It, it's very successful and we, we get good action. You know, it's. It, it, I think in many ways, you know, we have PBC, which is great. I think, you know, even though I have my criticisms of PBC, PBC is great in the sense that, you know, for people who can't afford HBO or Showtime, they're still boxing on at some point in the year. You know, you're not completely shut out from boxing. I think this gives people who can't afford HBO or Showtime a good, healthy alternative to, 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 to catch some good boxing, you know. On ESPN, which you know, it's gonna fill a void that was left from ESPN Friday Night Fight. So good move, power move by Oscar De La Hoya, and, and a decent card. I'll leave you guys the link to the boxing scene article with all the information. Uh, yeah, Jason Quigley versus Glenn Tapi in the main event, Mauricio Herrera and Randy Caballero on the undercards. Good stuff going on over there. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think like that the Oscar, that the Golden Boy Promotions ESPN partnership? Uh, will go well. Do you think it'll do good ratings and, and be sustain sustainable for ESPN to continue doing as they move forward with it? Let me know what you guys think, think in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniels. So until next time, take care guys.